Don, and this is Skeleton Crew Cooking. And today, we're going to do corned beef and cabbage in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. And today, you'll need a nice sized stock pot with a lid you're going to need a five pound bag of potatoes. I use two pounds, but you may want to add more. You will need a nice fresh onion, a nice fresh head of cabbage, some carrots. Some people prefer to use celery. I don't. You are need three quarts of water. You'll need a teaspoon of iodine salt. And of course, at least three pounds of your favorite corned beef and it usually comes with your seasoning packet. Okay, so let's begin by getting a little pot of cold water. You don't want to use warm water. Let's try to avoid bacteria and botulism. Get some cool water. And what we're going to do is rinse off our meat. So we'll go ahead and bring our meat in here. It's cool water, remember, cool water. And we'll just give it a nice little bath. It's going to be a wonderful piece of meat right here. It got nice marbling. Uh, you can go ahead and take some of that fat off of there too if you want to trim that up a little bit. I may go ahead and do that also. And then we'll go ahead and add this to our pot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add our corned beef meat. Get our trusty cutting board. We're going to go over here and cut up some of these vegetables. All right, we'll go ahead and cut up our onion. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll cut our uh, cabbage up. Take this core off of here. Right. Cabbage is pretty wonderful. I hear that it does give you gas. I don't think I've ever been infected by it. That's why they make Beano. Okay, we'll go ahead and get these uh, potatoes cut in quarters or halves. So we'll go ahead and add our onions to that. Yeah. And uh, get our nice juicy carrots fresh from the farmer's field. Put those puppies in there. Everybody loves carrots. All right. All right, and we'll go ahead and add our spice packet. This usually comes right in there with your uh, corned beef packet. And uh, it's pretty much everything that I would put in there. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we're gonna add our three quarts of cold water. Of iodine salt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and simmer this slowly for about three hours. You know what we gotta do. I'm gonna hit the start button and begin our countdown. Okay, boys and girls, if you remember back in the day, we had pull tabs on our beers. I just so happened to have this beautiful 1981 St. Patrick's Day beer that actually still has the pull tab. So it's been cooking about three hours. We're gonna go ahead and introduce our potatoes the red potatoes that we had sliced in half and put those in there. This will cook now for an additional 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to frost a mug. First, what you wanna get is hot, steamy water. You wanna steam up your mug. We'll go ahead and put this in the freezer. And you'll see what happens. All right, it's been about 30 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and add our cabbage and let that cook for another 20 minutes. That'll steam up real nice. Oh, if we only had Smeltronet. The fragrance right now inside this kitchen is wonderful. All right, 
timer went off, it should be ready for supper. Taking this over here and let's take a look and see what we got. Oh yeah, it looks like the cabbage is done. It's nice and tender. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Throw that on there. Get some potatoes on here. Okay, the meat looks really good. It looks like it's cooked just right. What we're gonna do is go across the grain, not with the grain, but across the grain when we cut it. And uh, we'll go ahead and serve this up. Yeah, if you cut across the grain, it won't destroy the meat so much. It'll be a, a much better presentation. So it looks like dinner is served. No Irish dinner is ever served without a frosty glass of green beer, right? So here we have our frosted glass. We have our beer. Whatever you prefer, I prefer butter. And then we go ahead and we pour that in there. Nice little frosty mug. St. Patrick's Day beer. Here's looking at you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This has been Skeleton Crew Cooking.